promise of something new, something exciting, the promise of memories we'll keep forever. Fishing is a simple pleasure, really. One that makes us feel connected, makes us feel alive. And when your line tightens and your rod bends, it doesn't matter if you're a six-year-old or a tournament pro, that buzz of excitement hits us all the same way. It's the moment we live for. Give me some More than 50 years ago, we wanted to change the way people fish, moving off the shoreline to where we knew the fish were larger and much more fun to catch on light tackle. So we gave fishermen the ability to see individual fish under the boat. Ever since the little green box, Lawrence has been driven to bring innovative products that provide real benefits to anglers. Today, Lawrence continues to build on its heritage of innovation and enhance its reputation for success, helping regular folks catch more fish and tournament pros capture more championships. It's a fact. More pro anglers count on Lawrence Sonar and Chart Plotter products than any other brand. Folks at home. By a long shot. Yeah. And as you might expect, there's a darn good reason for that. You know, I remember the first time I ever caught a bass on an artificial lure. I was 12 years old in the Pocono Mountains. I walked to the end of the dock. I threw a topwater lure out, twitched it a couple times, and a three-pound bass came up and exploded on this thing. My heart was pounding. I was breathing heavy. The minute I landed that fish, it was the most exciting thing that ever happened to me up to that point in my life. That's the reason I got hooked in fishing. And that's the reason 20 years later, I'm still doing it today. You know, I've got a lot of equipment in my boat, but without a doubt, the Lowranch unit helps me solve that puzzle quick, and it makes me a top angler. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Fish Tech Live. Yes, it's uh, season four, episode three. It's March, so it's our third month of the year. Welcome to the show. Uh, I presume it's going to be a relatively short show. I don't have too much to go through this evening, but what I do want to go through is very, very important. The main things I want to talk about, our number one topic, of course, for the evening is our Fish Tech Pro Staff. Guys, yes, a lot of kudos goes to all our customers out there, and there are a lot of them. I had no idea. Well, look, I hope for it, but I had no idea that the, that the charts were quite going to take off the way that they have. And that is really fantastic, and that's to all the customers. But the pro staff play a very, very big role in this. So I'd like to dedicate a little bit of uh, time to them this evening. Just looking at the screen, wow, I'm way back there. Hi, guys. Sorry, it's, I'm a little bit zoomed out. I've, I've got the wrong camera view. I was meant to zoom out and, oh well, in, it is what it is. Uh, I hope you can see me from, from way back here. Um, yeah, so I would like to sort of um, uh, talk about the pro staff a little bit tonight and just see what they've been up to recently. Um, they have obviously a very exciting bunch of individuals. Uh, they always fish well, they're great fishermen. Uh, so, you know, and they do a lot of promotion for me. They do a lot of social media work for Fish Tech, and it really is fantastic. And it's proving in the numbers. So all of you um, uh, pro staff guys that do do what you do, I really and truly do appreciate it, even if I don't say it often enough. But um, guys, what I'd like to talk about quickly is uh, before we get into that, um, very important notification. The new Lawrence HDS uh, Carbon Live and the Elite TI2 software version 20.0 is out. Keep in mind the way that they've changed the versions of the software that, that gets released is based on the year. So that's where the 20 comes from. Everybody was talking about 19.3, which was back in, I think, June, July last year when they launched the... Um, ghost trolling motor but um, look it's March 
already and we're halfway through March. It's taken, what, eight months or whatever to get the software. But guys, it is here now. And what does the software mean to the guys, particularly the guys with the ghost trolling motors? It means that the ghost can now talk to your Lawrence. I know some of you are thinking to yourself, are you telling me it wasn't talking to the Lawrence? Unfortunately, yes, that is true. But anyway, that's the past. It was a frustrating past, but let's move forward. It's here. The ghost trolling motor is available. It's available in South Africa. It's a 55,000 Rand trolling motor. Um, the, the software is available now. You just update it to the unit. Information like, is the trolling motor going to be able to update with things they work out with it through the software this is where we ran into a very gray area and a very confusing video was released by somebody here in south africa where they said yeah you can do all the updates on your old motor guide xi5 through your hds no that software that we could uh, update back then was purely for the gateway link cable. It had nothing to do with updating the software on the actual XI5. So that's something that we do not have clarity on. And we're hoping that John Mini, Lawrence, South Africa, come to the party and release some nice videos where, where they talk about things like that. We'd like to know about those type of things because it will make a difference. 55,000 Rand for a trolling motor is a fair investment and I'm sure there'll be a couple of questions and let's hope we get some answers. You know, we can talk on the shore and lying over the deck of the boat and tell long stories, but you've got to get on the water. And uh, the trolling motor is one of those tests that have to be done and carried out on the water. So I really look forward to South Africa, particularly Lawrence, South Africa, releasing a couple of on the water videos explaining a couple of these things. It would be fantastic. Um, I no longer do that uh, for Lawrence. Um, they've got their own boat. They've got their own setup there. Um, I'm a dealer. so. Hopefully they'll invite me along the way I used to take them out on my boat for all those years and uh, we can spend some time on the water with the new products, but we'll have to wait and see about that. But um, yeah, okay. Well, let me see who's joined us. Um, sure, we've got quite a few guys here. Um, <laughs> Raynaud likes the studio. <laughs> Thanks, Raynaud. You got to keep sending me some pictures. We're going to talk about the customers and I want to put you up on the, on one of these pages. Yeah. Sometime. So yeah. Um, yeah. Welcome everybody. Welcome. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the names, but uh, fantastic to see all of you here. Um, guys, let's get into the pro stuff. This is what I want to talk about. This is what I'm really excited about. Audio, everything. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Is anything fuzzy? I've remembered to hit record tonight, so there's going to be a YouTube video. For two months, I've forgotten to hit record for the YouTube video. So, yeah, it's one of those things. But uh, hopefully tonight with this lovely set behind me and the pro staff all over it, um, I think it'll look great on an on a HD video. Please, guys, please keep in mind, um, Facebook only allows us to stream at 720. That's why we've got this lower resolution that you're seeing now. But on the uh, youtube video that i'll release in the morning or later tonight uh, that will be in a full hd 1080 so it will be a lot clearer right let's get on to the more exciting stuff uh it's going to be a little bit all over the place okay now that's going to run away i remember we always got this issue every time uh let's see where was the first one yeah went quite far jeez it really ran away okay there we go okay um guys i'm gonna have to refer uh theo thanks very much everything working fine that's awesome fantastic welcome welcome theo um thanks for that um i need to get onto the mails that were sent to me so i know what is what yeah um Right, these pictures that you see here, uh, these were sent to me by uh, Alistair Moore's Pitt. Alistair, good evening. Uh, thank you for sending me these, these, these pictures. Um, this, I believe, was on uh, Dree Copies, if I'm right. Yes, I think that is right. I'm just going to move this over, so if I get it wrong, please make a comment 
so that I can see <laughs> that I've got it either right or, or wrong. So yeah, the guys went up there and they were doing some practicing up at Dream Copies, did a lot of promotion for me, uh, got a lot of charts sold for me, so thank you very much. And of course, the bonus is they caught some really, really nice fish. I mean, look at that fish there. Wow, man, that is fantastic. Um, here we go. Uh, Ricky again, some nice fish. I see they like those sticks. Have you noticed those sticks in the background? They, that was obviously a very, very good spot for them there. Um, so it looks like they really, really got some fun there. Um, this here, this particular shot is in Nanda because I recognize the tree behind there. Um, Alistair says, yes, that was three copies. Alistair, yes, if I'm correct. This was um, uh, fishing some offshore structure on Inanda. If I'll, oh, jeez, I've got too many mouses here. Mice, mouses, mouses, plural. There we go. Um, yeah, so um, that was what we got from Alistair. Let's see what else have we got there. And yeah, Alistair, once again, everything that you and Ricky do um, for, for Fish Tech, I'm very grateful. Thank you for that. Um, it, yeah, it's going in alphabetical order here. Um, Andrew, let's see what Andrew, uh, I know he sent this this morning. He was one of the first guys to send it through, the second person to send it. Andrew Ninaba um, hasn't been with Fish Tech for too long. I think it's on our second year now. Correct me if I'm wrong, time flies lately. Uh, he says this was the Western Cape Team Tournament Trail at Tiervartus Cliff. Jeez, guys, this is fantastic news. You know, I've been to Tiervartus twice now to go and map it. I went there with the drone when it was very, very dry. And, tw and both times that I went there, the bloody wind blew that you couldn't even put a drone up in the air. In fact, you could hardly walk. That place gets so windy. So never mind a drone. It would have probably ended up in Hermana somewhere, if that's the way the wind blows. Um, and they got a second place there of with a bag of 9.95 kgs. Uh, that's with uh, his partner, Andrew Locke. So well done to, to them. Um, uh, then there's another picture. I see there's another picture there. This one was at, uh, this is Cape Divisionals. So Western Province Divisionals down at Clan William. Some low, there's a nice smallie there. Oh, really, really nice. Um, just want to see what um, Alistair said. Yes, it's on a ledge down near the S bends. Yes, there by Venti's. Okay, following the rock using the charts. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Um, Aristoteles Collius. Hi, good evening, Aristoteles. Uh, what about the new icon Lawrence after the new update? How that works? Aristoteles, I haven't paid attention to it. Uh, I must be honest, I hit power and I go to charts and I don't really look at the other things. <clears throat> the geckos are now fighting behind me. Who knows? If you see a gecko land on my head, it's these two fighting with each other. Um, okay, what have we got next? Oh, this is this is Woodstock. Okay, this is very recent. This was uh, on the weekend. Brendan van Zadam, he's our uh, pro staff. Um, ha has been with uh, Fish Tech right from the beginning, back in 2009. He's been with us for a very, very long time. And um, Brendan, anybody that knows Brendan, he's just an all-round nice guy and uh, a hell of a fisherman, and sent me these beautiful pictures um, of, of Woodstock on the weekend. This was the Joey's, I think it is. Um, uh, just a quick hello. Hello, Stephen, David Frolic. Good evening. How are you doing? Uh, Rowan Oberholzer. Good evening, Rowan. How are you doing? Um, if you guys remember, and yes, they won this, if I remember correctly. Let me just double check. I'm pretty sure. Yes, there it is there. Uh, da, 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 da. 9.6 kgs. Yes, Brendan and his partner, uh, Lloyd Muirhead, they fished the joeys and they won it. So really, congratulations, uh, Brendan. Once again, and I think you won it last... No, that was another tournament. Last tournament you won was at Spionkop, where you were using the beta release charts, the fish tech charts for Spionkop. Nobody's really... I think you're the only person that's got that, that chart uh, to date, to be quite honest. So, um, yeah, and you guys went up there, apparently hectic weather conditions, gazebos and tents were flying, apparently, and then you go and win the whole event. So, fantastic. That is really well well done there. So, thanks, Brendan, to you and Lloyd. 
uh, some some more nice pictures there. It's another picture of them with their lovely fish there. Um, Brian Le Pen. Now, Brian, which one was this? Uh, this was. Um, Brian says this was second place today at the Natal at the KZN Natal trials held at Albert Falls Dam. Uh, five bass limit of twelve point six four kgs, twenty seven pounds. That's just insane. That's really, really nice bag. I don't want to take any thunder away from what I've just said because that is a wonderful achievement. But guys, there's a bigger bag coming. Holy moly. Unbelievable. Brian, everything that you do for Fish Tech, really appreciate it. You're always there. You're always supportive. you quick off the starting block. You always respond very quickly. I really and truly appreciate that. I know I don't rep reciprocate as well as what you do but uh yeah no, thank you very much and geez f fantastic fish man really 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 lovely stuff so yeah that's uh brian le pan doing it there um here we got peter esbach peter esbach has been with us for a while now um he's another one of the team that are supposed to be going to world champs in the usa believe it or not the black bass the fip said black bass world championships if it's even held this year with this whole coronavirus what is going on guys this coronavirus is going to ruin sport around the world i know i'm putting emphasis on sport it's ruining financial markets the russians are fighting with the arabs and the the oil prices down to like 25 30 dollars a barrel it, the world's gone insane crazy but let's talk about more important things sport is this thing on is this thing going to be on i don't know you know i don't want to make the show and this whole because I, let's admit it this thing of everybody buying face masks and toilet paper and this it's just ridiculous it really and truly i think we've we've all generally as as the inhabitants of this planet we we've literally we've lost the plot we we are all slightly insane but um anyway so peter esbach is men is on the team uh if it does happen and uh at this point it is happening um i'm just saying about this whole travel ban thing internationally here and there i just hope it doesn't affect it but let's see what actually happens but Peter Esbach, I think it was this last weekend now, they were on the um, Vol River and uh, he was using our fish tech Vol charts and him and his, as you guys know, it's a bit of a tough uh, fishery that, um, but Peter knows the river well and of course he's, he's got the charts and he sent and he put these screenshots up on um, Facebook um, showing the type of thing that, that he found and he, he did uh, obviously some planning from home and went on the water and these were the type of things these ledges you can see there's some little timbers there you know a little bit of standing timber that's been broken off and this is the type of stuff that he was targeting and obviously produced some some fish for him so peter i know you don't do a hell of a lot of social media stuff it's not too much of your game but um, you're more of a word of mouth person to person type of person and uh, you you do a lot of sales for us so i really and truly appreciate that so really fantastic stuff right another relative newcomer to the fish tech family the the pro staff freddie um he uh, freddie stain he's, he's he's from the cape um he he does a lot of uh, stuff for us too telling the guys look we don't have much for freddie to promote down there we've only really got the clan william chart but every chance he gets he does promote the chart for us as time goes on hopefully we do get more dams done down there like tiavatas and yeah some of the others we can get in there hopefully and get them done for you guys but here yeah, this photograph here that you see of freddie uh this is the western cape bass anglers association regionals at clan it's, he they got he got a second and a fourth place and he's currently leading that division so freddie fantastic well done keep up the good work really fantastic stuff and then we got the bass couple now jacques uh, Skuman and Corneille Skuman, they always in the mix, boy. Always, I tell you what, these guys can pull it out the bag like you can't believe. Uh, I just want to read the texts that they've got here. I don't know which one is which here. 
Um, um, Jacques sent me this today. He said it's uh, Mpumalanga Province Provisionals. This is on Arabi. Um, uh, this is day one with a second place of 8.93 kgs. Uh, day two came fifth with a bag of 6.87 kgs. Courtney, uh day one came eighth with uh, 3.69 kgs. Day two, eighth with 5.4 kgs. So as you can see, these guys are right up there in the mix and really doing it. I know um, Jacques and Cornet are working on trying to get some live feed going from the boat and what have you. I'm really looking forward to them sorting that out and getting that going. Maybe we can get some sponsors together there to help um, fund airtime or whatever for that. But um, yeah, always having fun, catching good fish. Ah oh, man, I love following the bass couple. I, th I, I don't think there's anybody that fishes in South Africa that does or, or hasn't heard of the bass couple. And uh, of course, they, they get some really great fish and, and, and Cornet is doing it. Eh? So really, congratulations. Well done, you guys, and everything that you do for us here at, at Fish Tech. And Martin de Kock. Martin has been very quiet. He's been like secret agent 006.5. I haven't heard from Martin in a long time and bang there he is he's at woodstock got some lacquer fish there in the tournament i'm not too sure what what his place was um <clears throat> brendan won it brendan and lloyd obviously won it so i don't know where where martin uh came here but those are some nice looking fish anyways and then when he was practicing hey, and doesn't that happen often eh? When you're practicing you go and catch a slab like like this and you can always see from martin's face when he's got a good fish this is this is martin with a nice bag and that's martin with a really nice fish so you can always see when he's got a good fish there's no hiding his enjoyment of the sport that's for sure <clears throat> I, I was hoping this was going to come up last but um obviously it's in alphabetical order the way it's picked it up in the thing but uh guys this this bag was just something else from robbie and his partner niels this was the albert falls tournament let me just see if i can find oh, i want to find exactly what those weights were because i've got this feeling that i'm exaggerating lately no there we go um I've taken it off here. I don't know why I didn't have it in here. But uh, this photograph here was actually in the um, American FLW magazine, their online magazine. It made it there. The headline was Big Weights Headline FLW South Africa Event. And they say on March the 5th, 2020, the, the writer was Justin Onslow. And he said with a bag of 38.03 pounds. Yes, guys. 38 pounds five fish that's what uh, robbie and neil scott on this day which is just in, just crazy if you guys get a chance pop down to www.flwfishing.com and look for this big weights headline flw south africa event and you will be able to read the article there and man you know i think to have when you just practicing or you're there with friends if some if something as magical as this happens then it's it's an exceptional thing to actually happen but for it to happen in a tournament it's just it's just crazy i mean look at the size of this these fish can you imagine the size fish they were culling guys if you get a chance please go on to robbie ulafia bass fishing and uh go to his facebook page and there's a video on this day which is just crazy um <clears throat> Rishal, hi good evening uh Rishal. how are you doing welcome thanks for joining us and vian vian rath and his partner this was now i've got to try and find where this was this was also a rabi i think if i'm not mistaken vian where's your right up there we go uh no, it was Rest of Winter. My apologies. Uh, Rest of Winter. They got a third place this last weekend on Rest of Winter. So very, very well done, uh, you guys. 
you're always hanging in there. I tell you what, you, you're always in the podium there somehow, and you're really doing well. And this is really awesome to see. I know Rista Winter doesn't have much of a chart. It's uh, um, the charts you guys are using for there is the satellite and the sediment. But um, hopefully one day that will get done. But one thing I will promise you guys that's coming very, very soon is Arabi. I'm off to Arabi this weekend. I'm going to be there for a week. And then I'm heading straight from there. I'm carrying on north and I'm going up to Nandoni for another week. So it's going to be back to back two dams. I've never done it before. Um, and hopefully all goes well. And the crocodiles don't but uh, Amy or me. But we will see how that goes. Um, so yeah. Um, so Vian, thank you very much. And yeah, keep those images coming. I love watching them. There we go. There's the third place. That's Rista Winter. Okay, and that's back to the beginning. Um, so guys, as you can see behind me, these wonderful pictures uh, sent by 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 our pro staff here at Fishtech. And yeah, just really amazing watching the guys so active in promoting the actual charts and it does make a difference it does sell charts guys please keep in mind um fish tech is essentially my wife colleen and myself and the pro staff we do not have a budget to advertise in magazines for 12 15 000 rand for a full page and all that type of thing we we can't afford that um so we use any form of free advertising um on social media and then of course our customers are a huge selling point for us they're not even pro staff but they promote the charts they get excited they learn how to use the charts and do a great job and then of course the last how many minutes 20 minutes that i've been talking about the pro staff these guys really really make a difference sometimes i think you know i think sometimes you feel like you're a stuck record you 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 can't just keep on talking about it but guys advertising is a stuck record if you look at coke Mag uh, uh, coke ads and pepsi ads you would think it's a stuck record it's the same thing over and over and over and over but it sells and i need to sell charts to move on to the next thing and get bigger and better because remember i'm never satisfied with what i'm doing today whatever i'm doing today tomorrow i want to be better and that's never going to stop if I wasn't like that, the franchise and the craft Amy would have been released years ago. I would have basically slapped it together, put some electronics in there, it sort of went in a straight dish line and said, look at this fantastic tool. I haven't released anything out there yet. I plan to this year. Yes, I do. When I go to the States, hopefully we still go to the States with this whole stupid coronavirus rubbish. I hope I'm not offending anybody by saying that, but I really think it's just the world's gone insane but um uh, hopefully i do go and I, i'd really like to take something that works that really and truly works that whoever partners with a uh, fish tech and a franchise or whatever goes this really is a wonderful product this really does a great job and it does it well and that's what i strive to actually do so Guys, don't feel bad about <laughs> marketing and marketing and marketing and repeating it. I need to keep growing the fish tech name and keep growing so that we can get even better and better uh, uh, charts and get coverage quicker and faster all over the world. So, yeah, um, guys, I just want to show you something. Uh, I was only planning on speaking for half an hour, but there is something I want to show you quickly. OK, I did mention the software updates. I'm going to rewind on this on the software updates quickly guys this software update for the HDS carbon HDS live and the elite TI2 guys please don't do a Wi-Fi software up, update I know it can do it and a lot of you say it works brilliantly and whatnot but for the few people that has a glitch with the internet or something goes wrong halfway through just the drama that goes with it and uh, 40 minutes at a time over the phone no just go on to the lawrence.com website download the latest remember dot com you've got to go to dot com go to lawrence.com 
download the software there, put it onto a little micro SD card or yeah, onto the micro SD card, pop it into the unit and start the unit up and it should automatically load it for you. Make sure your battery is good, that it doesn't fail halfway through and everything will be fine. Uh, you might have to do a restore default after the update. So make sure you've done that. And then always, just as a precaution, do a backup of your waypoints. Remember to do that. You must do that. Um, the other thing is, um, no, I'll finish off with that just before I go. Let's just have a quick look at what the guys were using at Woodstock. Here's a typical chart of, of Woodstock. Uh, Woodstock guys, um, for the guys that are thinking, hang on, where does this chart come from? It is on the Midmar Fishtech HD chart. So you go down to Midmar, you've got all your mosaics and your drone imagery and everything like that. But you go up, you uh, go more north, sort of northwestish, and you will run into Woodstock Dam. Uh, Woodstock Dam has a low-level satellite, um, which isn't too too bad. Um, it also has a sediment. Now the sediment, what I've done is I've colored in certain areas. And these are type of things that I believe will pay pay off. How deep is this? Let's go to Lawrence. I've got a SA inland chart in there. I, I can't say say for sure how accurate these charts are because I haven't been on the water. This is your Lawrence, which you can get from Lawrence, South Africa. It's the SA inland chart. You can zoom in there. It tells us if the dam's 100% full, that is at 10, I'm guessing that's meters because we can't change it from feet to meters. It doesn't make a difference. Um, well, let's try it while we're here. Have I missed anything? Uh, Craig on a graph. Hi, good evening, Craig. How are you doing? Sorry about that. Oops, last month. Eh? Oh, well, that's me. Eh? Um, let's go to settings. Uh, I want to go to units, change our depth. Uh, it is in feet, so it's not, no. So it's obviously fixed on the chart. I'm pretty sure that it's meters. So when the dam is 100% full, that'll be at 10 meters, it's 30 feet. But if you go back to the sediment, you can see there's an old road there. The things that I've identified on the uh, sediment as man-made objects, I have colored in with red. I'm not saying they're always going to be correct, so you're going to have to watch out for that. This could be quite close. That could be pretty much. What depth would that be? And ooh, you see, that's going to be quite shallow there. Guys, just so that you know what I'm using here, I've got a uh, HDS carbon in front of me. I've got the 9-inch unit, and I'm running two um, cards. I've got the South Africa, the, the, the SA inland chart in the one card slot, and I've got the Colleen says you're not seeing the chart. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's so typical me. Eh? Let me just zoom out here and show you what I was looking at. Sorry, guys. Now I see why the geckos are going wild. There's uh, flying ants everywhere. Now they're on the keyboard fighting for the, for the, the flying ant. No, it's like a zoo here tonight, let me tell you. Uh, go to the satellite. That's the satellite that I was showing you. Okay, now you can all see it. My goodness. Colleen said, can't see the chart you're looking at. Oh, my goodness me. Anyway, there's, there's it now. Okay, it's not all lost. <laughs> Thanks, Colleen. Um, yeah, yeah, well. Okay, there's the satellite. We go to the sediment. I was telling you about those things that are colored in. There's obviously the, the, the channel back there. If you go back to the satellite, uh, it's very close to this point here. You see that, that point? So that channel comes in quite a, nice and close. That's something important to keep in mind. <clears throat> you see that? That, that point there, I, I don't know how many of you guys have noticed this, but you've got that there. You've got some ruins over there. What is that on the satellite? You see, uh, depth, let's check the depth on that. Okay, that's starting to get a little bit deep. But guys, these are the type of things. I'm using the Lawrence SA inland chart. I'm using the satellite and I'm using the sediment. 
these are wonderful, wonderful tools. They're available right on the unit. You can Wi-Fi stream it to your massive big TV and really, uh, I've got to bug up my nose. <clears throat> you, you know, the, 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 you can study. This is what you should be doing. You should be finding these type of things. I'm probably giving away somebody's secret spot and he's thinking, stop, stop talking about that. <clears throat> Guys, I don't know that for a fact. Nobody's ever told me about this. I've just punched on it with my finger. If I have accidentally exposed your secret spot, I apologize. But um, <clears throat> yeah, um, let's see. And Reynard also said something. Uh, got an all four big damn Albert Falls, Midmoy, Nanda and Hazemir, my new PBs. All bass are three kgs plus thanks to the charts and spots would not have known about these fish within a year. Lots count of three kg and bass. Few mates broke their PBs. Charts are must have for serious bass. Reynard, I know you've always been a fantastic brand ambassador for us. Really, you really. And at this point, you are just a customer. You've always bought every single chart. And I really thank you for the amount of pro, you know promotion which, which, which you have done. I really and truly do. And I will make it up to you someday. So... Um, and of course you go out you catch the fish you're very active on social media and yeah man geez just some awesome awesome fishing and great fish uh, so and thank you for that comment uh, i really do appreciate it um, my friend derek uh, hillary hi from spion how are you doing um <clears throat> yeah geez spion i believe is over 100 or 100 percent and uh, i believe you coming to inanda this weekend so i hope you get some nice fish i hope you find them I believe it's a little bit tricky, but I'm sure you you'll you'll work it out. So yeah, good to see you on on the show, Derek. Um, and yes, we will return to Spoon Corp and we will fish Spoon Corp together. I promise you, we will do it. So um, <clears throat> fantastic, guys. Just a quick one. Okay, that was Woodstock. What I want to do is I want to go back to Navionics. <clears throat> I want to remove my mid March chart. Don't have nails, so yeah, these little things can be tricky to get out. Eh? Put that over there, <clears throat> guys. I'm going to talk about this chart. This is the Northern Province sediment. It's called the Northern Province sediment. It sells for two thousand two hundred rand. It is a cracker of a chart, and it sells so well. It really, really, and truly is a fantastic seller um, and we've especially been selling a lot of them lately and I think a lot of it comes down to Arabi now I've got to try and find Arabi I think it's up there somewhere yeah I did it's north of Loskop so there we go let me zoom in and we're gonna go here we're going to go to Lawrence. Guys, there's two versions of the um, Northern Province sediment. There's just Northern Province's sediment straight, which is satellite and sediment. And then there's the SAI. It's designed to work with the SA inland chart. So if you're using uh, HDS, or something like that that's got the dual little card slots you're going to put your SA inland chart in the one and then you're going to put your fish tech chart in the other one and the reason why you're going to do that is because you can do this um, chart options photo overlay you can put the photo overlay behind it or you can say land only and there you've got just the land behind it or if you want to see something that is hidden behind it, you can just go full and there it is. You can also turn on the contours only if you want to. Um, now I've got to remember how to do that. Um, we go down to water. We're going to turn off all water there. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Then be careful here behind me. Let me move out the way. Oh, it's all, it's cut off. You got to put your finger right next to the screen on the on the carbon. The live isn't so difficult because it's just a flat glass screen. But for the guys with the TIs, TI2s, and the old HDSs, even the carbon, you got to sneak your finger in the side here and go. Book. There we go. And watch what happens now. Now you've got all these options, and you're just going to select depth contours. 
And then we're going to go land only. There it is. Okay. Now, now you got to remember that. you got to go to water, turn water off, and only put on the contours. Come back to your photo overlay and put it onto land only. Now you've got contours on top of your satellite imagery. I'm going to Arabi this weekend. Apparently Arabi is on. I don't know how accurate this is. <clears throat> no, I can't find it now. But I think it's around that 90%, 90, 95. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, I'm going to have to check that. But um, obviously, while I'm mapping, the, these two charts together are going to be very, very important for me. And then, of course, you also have the sediment. So you've got a sediment for Arabi. Oh, there's some rocks. Can you see that there? Let's go to Lawrence. What have we got there? Yes. Boom. Look at that. There's the rocks. See how accurate the, the sediment is? Jeez, can you imagine taking your gearbox out on that? Whoa, you, you won't believe it. Um, uh, Malcolm Kutsia, hi. Hi, Malcolm, how are you doing? Wish I could afford more charts. They really do make a huge difference and help a lot. Malcolm, just keep, just, you know what it's like. Just put a little bit aside every now and again. And before you know it, you've, you've got the charts. The charts, I know, are, do do add up eventually. They are quite expensive. But, you know, just go into your garage, go through your rods and just say, right, 800 Rand, 1200 Rand, 1400 Rand, add, add, add. Take the reels, take the line, just line. Go to your boat now, tonight, when you finish with the show, go to the boat and go and work out what the value is of just the line you have in your boat, spooled or still on the reel, whatever. Just go and work that out. You'll be in for a shock, let me tell you. Um, right. Uh, Vian used that chart for, for comps. There we go. Vian said that he used this, this chart for the comps. So, Vian, I hope it saves me a, a prop. I don't want to chow my new Mercury motor up. Um, so, we'll, we'll have to see. Um, guys, that's all I'm going to show you. Uh, please remember this little tip that I've showed you now with the uh, satellites and the sediments and whatnot on the northern provinces chart it really is a great tool um, but keep in mind there's a fish tech hd chart coming for arabi and one for nandoni so yeah we won't be looking at this anymore we're going to be looking at some really really fantastic stuff when i get back from that two-week trip starting this week sunday so yeah um, let's hope the weather plays ball and we don't have any mechanical issues touch wood my goodness the issues we can have while doing this the stress but we will see um <clears throat> last thing yes before i go Ta -da, ta -da. there we go guys um this i know we said this was only for february this special, it's got an amazing chart with it. It's a contour only chart for South Africa of the dams that we've done. You'll have to contact Colleen for, for the details, which dams are, are included and what have you. Um, it's, it's designed for the uh, new uh, hook reveal, but it also works on any of the old hook units. It works it even works on the old elite HDIs and uh, uh chirp units and whatnot guys just keep in mind those units do not have a great processor in them so they are very sluggish so yeah just just watch out for that um uh vian says i must watch out for the crocs vian i'm worried about those crocs i've seen how big those crocs are there whoa yeah we'll have to see the uh, and armand rabaskach says sorry i'm a bit late uh, can i do this with the vitbank dam chart uh armand yes yeah Yes, you, you, you definitely can. But remember with this, um, the accuracy of the charts, the uh, sediment charts around the country do vary dramatically. It depends who it was that did the survey. For example, uh, this chart looks pretty good. Looks like the guy did a, a pretty reasonable job here. The Inanda uh, sediment chart has to be the best sediment chart in the country. It is a phenomenal chart. The amount of secrets that's on that sediment is just mind-blowing and then of course it ties up with the ultra hfs a tie oh man it ties yeah no that that's that's a wonderful one um others are just 
useless. The Vitbank one, I uh, can't remember how good the Vitbank one was. I think it was a bit sketchy. But uh, yeah, by all means, this doing what we did here will, will definitely work. Um, uh, sorry, you can't see where I am. Uh, let me put that there. So yeah, guys, please uh, contact Colleen for the special here. Um, uh, I think the prices are going up next week. So guys, please uh, don't quote me on it, but I believe Lawrence prices are going up next week. So if you've got any money right now that you want to buy some electronics or whatever right now, I would move very quickly, at least get it done before next week, before the price increase. I don't know if you guys have noticed what's happened to the Rand dollar, but uh, yeah, that's gone for a bit of a bore. So we'll have to see. So right, uh, everybody, it's only 1943. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody that uh, joined us tonight. I hope you learned a couple of tricks. Um, I hope you uh, bump into some of our pro staff when you're in, at the various venues around the country. Um, go and shake their hand. If you haven't seen the charts, ask them if they can show you something quickly. Uh, 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 pro staff, hide your waypoints. But no, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm only kidding. <laughs> but um, yeah, show the guys. Go and have a chat with them. Oh, there's the thunder. Probably going to have lights out here just now. So it's good that I get get going. So once again, thank you, everybody. Uh, please, uh, from the customers, you know, our customers out there as well, please send me some photographs of what you guys are up to and whatnot. I'll keep a file and hopefully in our fish tech uh, show, we can keep a little segment and show everybody what you guys are up to there. So everybody, uh, thanks for, for joining me tonight. Uh, if you do have any questions, I will keep an eye on this video and see if there's any more questions coming. The video will be up on YouTube tonight or tomorrow morning uh, in full HD. And of course, you can also make comments there. And of course, please, people, notifications and subscribe at the bottom of the page on my YouTube channel, John Easton or Troll Fury. Thank you very much. Good night, everybody.